Hi everyone, this is Scott with Simplified Logic. Today I'm going to show the power of NitroCell in doing design automation using PTC Creo and Microsoft Excel. So I've got this dump body and it's rather boxy in shape. There's no angles to the floor, the front wall angle and the tailgate are all sort of at 90 degree angles. Even the rails and the ribs are just sitting in here at 90 degree angles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some design changes to this. I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to pull it. I'm going to change the, the length and the width. Add some angles to the front wall and to the floor and to the tailgate area. And all the changes will be communicated to Creo using Microsoft Excel and NitroCell. So let's come over to our Excel workbook and start making some changes. So let's set the floor angle to 10 and the length will set that to 4,000. Pivot location, let's move that to 2,400. The front wall angle... 15 sidewall height we'll move that up to 1600 and notice when I change that to 1600 I get an error message so this is telling me that my based on the current design my front wall height also needs to change so I'll set that at 1800 tailgate I'll set to 70 let's move this up to 2600 this is a pull down because I have certain width restrictions that I have to maintain so the first input area changes the overall outside shape of the entire assembly now I'm going to go in and change some things about each area of the design. I don't have to do this. I could run this now, but I'm going to make a few more changes. I'm going to change some of the angles of the profile of the, of the rails and ribs here. So everywhere where I've got, got a 90 degree, I'm going to just set these at 100. And maybe this one, we'll move that 110, 105. And I'm going to set the, the rib number on the front side. We'll set that to 5. And we'll set the rear at 4. Let's go ahead and just put 6 in here. Okay, so down here, I've got an option for joint style. Do an out or an in or a miter. Let's set that to be an outside option. Also, let's go ahead and change the profile of the sidewall. Right now I'm at vertical. Let's go with a horizontal option. Make some changes to the tailgate. Now when I'm happy with my changes, I simply come to NitroCell and hit the Do It button. This is giving me the name of the Excel workbook that I'm, that I'm talking to, so I'll click Do It. NitroCell is now looking at some commands in the Excel workbook, opening model, opening assemblies, regenerating it, open up the parts and the skeletons, and changing their values. Let's set this to a log view. Now we're going through a smart sync. Now we have a skeleton that's going to communicate through NitroCell what the sizes of my models should be. Keep in mind the parts remain completely autonomous. Even though we're using a skeleton, we're just referencing it. We're not tying the parts permanently to the skeleton. Every part will be completely autonomous when we're through with our automation. No circular references, no dependencies. None of the models have any dependency to the Excel workbook. They get updated, and again, there are no dependencies to one model and any other model in this assembly. And now I'm finished with my design. You can see I went changed it to a horizontal profile for the ribs. I've got a floor angle, I've got a front wall angle, and the tailgate, I put an angle on that. Also notice the number of ribs changed. I have four in the rear, six in the front. If I open one of these stringers, it automatically updated to show the correct number of stringers. Okay, now that I've got a design that I like, I'm going to take this through a release process. You can see over here that the dump body and its assembly have very generic names. Now what I'm going to go through a release process where I rename and back up these files to another folder. When I do this, it's going to break any relations, suppress components. It's also going to remove any suppressed features from my models. So I'm at my input sheet. Pick the option called Release for NitroCell. And then we'll come and hit the Do It button. And this will begin the release process. So what it's doing here, it's opening up each model and deleting any suppressed features. It's also going to delete any suppressed uh, components or any components that are turned off in the assembly. If you look in the model tree, you can see some of the models are beginning to be updated and renamed. Okay, now it's finished, it releases, it purges, it erases the memory. So let's go take a look at that folder. Here's a folder that contains all my original models. Let's look working directory to that. And let's open up the top level assembly. New design, copied out to a different folder. 
if you, we zoom in, take a look at these profiles here, you can see how nicely the ends of those models blend up to their mating to their mating component. Earlier everything was at a 90 degree angle. Thank you for watching the demo on using NitroCell to automate a career design using Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching.